question is, what is a menomina? The question is, who cares? <laughs> hey, she just vanished. How did she do that? Probably like this. <gasps> yep, that's probably how she did it. Say, Waldorf, I was wondering if maybe you... Darn, I better get some new batteries for my hearing aid. <laughs> I pull them every time! <laughs> Beat sitting home watching television. Mano, mano. I love it, I love it. Hmm. Of course he loves it. He's the kind of guy who plants poison ivy. <laughs> oh, how poignant. I remember being a teenager in love. Yeah, but Queen Victoria wouldn't have you. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get close to Connie Stevens, but I'm too close to something else. Now, what's that? 90. <laughs> You think this show is educational? Yes, it'll drive people to read books. Well, the show is speeding along very quickly this evening. Oh, yes. Someone must have told him it's harder to hit a moving target. <laughs> Go with my foot. Well, that young man is one of the all-time greats. You hear me? One of the greats. Well, you'll get no argument from me on that. <laughs> well, it may be the first time we ever agreed on anything in our lives. No. We uh, once agreed in uh, the summer of 1912, yes. <laughs> what was that? We agreed that Kaiser Bill looks silly in a hat. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> more, more. No, oh, not so loud. They may hear you. <laughs> well, I, I think I'll go stretch my legs. <laughs> I'd do it for you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you like the show? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, speaking of lunch, I wonder what the Swedish chef has up his sleeve. A uh, summer. <laughs> yes. Well, uh -huh. I still couldn't find the chewing gum. <laughs> Pay up. They made it through another one. Uh, double or nothing next week's show? You're on. Well, they really brought down the house. Well, at least the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. So what? You also loved World War II. Oh, encore! Bravo! Encore! <laughs> He's a credit to his race. What race is that? The 100 yard dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this show is good for what ails me. Yeah, well, what ails you? Insomnia. Well, I really like this show tonight. At these prices, who's gonna complain? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better than opening it with a bang. <laughs> Did somebody say bang? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you can't win them all. <laughs> well, that was a great number. I've always liked pantomime. That wasn't pantomime. Your hearing aid's busted again. <laughs> oh, well. well, the show tonight certainly didn't lay an egg. Wanna bet? only comes once in a lifetime. If you're lucky. <laughs> well, I could listen to her sing till the end of time. No, she doesn't sing that. Not her style. No. Well, no, no, I mean I could listen to her sing forever. Well, she doesn't sing that either. Why don't you just check yourself into the old fool's home while I still have a bed left? Arthur! Arthur! Is he here? Hmm? Who? Arthur. Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> They say music hath charm to soothe the savage beast. Such is not the case here, however. Get him. Get him. Well, they did improve the level of television entertainment. Well, they had no place to go but up. Now well, I've seen everything. Good. Can we leave? Brilliant! Oh, there aren't many performers that could hold a candle to Bruce Forsyth. Of course not. They'd burn him. <laughs> Tattler, you must be the old fool there's no fool like. This show brought a tear to my eye. Really? Yeah, I'm sitting on a tack. Did somebody say bang? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I've always wondered what the show looked like from up here. In any event, let's start off the show with a musical number that was staged by our own gopher scooter. It could be a bomb, but... Uh... Did somebody say bomb? Oh, no. <laughs> mm, well, how'd you like the show? Eh, maybe I'm getting soft, but I loved it. Have a banana. <laughs> I think I ought to see a doctor. Well, why do you say that? 
beginning to like the show. <laughs> you know, I love French singers. I love French fries. French fries? I don't get that. Well, you didn't order any. <laughs> I was just thinking, uh, apropos of nothing, but is it pronounced tomato or tomato? Is what pronounced tomato or tomato? <laughs> well, you gotta give them credit. Why is that? Well, they're gonna keep on doing it till they get it right. <laughs> Like this show. Yeah, really? Yep, it's really starting to grab me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, something's starting to grab you. <laughs> well, time for a tea break. All right. <laughs> Literal chap, isn't he? Fantastic show. Brilliant show. By the way, your pants are on fire. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> bravo! Oh, bravo! Wonderful! Just wonderful! How would you know? You're not even facing the stage. Why did you have to tell me I was having such a good time? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Why, you old fool. What? I'm not your son and my name's not Shine. <laughs> he calls me an old fool. I loved it. Oh, I hate it! Number scared the pants off me. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't just forget to put them on again? Mr. Price is the most wonderfully scary actor since Thudge McGurk. Hey, yeah. Thudge McGurk. I'll never forget him. His last film was Phantom of the Soap Opera. Mm. <laughs> yeah, after that, he went berserk. They say he still haunts theaters around the world. <laughs> Three eyes, green hair, mm. long orange horns, and big, long, ugly fangs. Mm. Horrible man, horrible. Ah! <laughs> oh! Hey, listen, on your way back up, bring some popcorn. <laughs> With butter. <laughs> It's easy for you to say. And this show should be reported to the Consumer Protection Agency. Mm, why? The host was just consumed. <laughs> uh, don't count on it. Hey, this is our box, fella. Let me see your ticket stub. Was that a great number? I don't know. I slept through it. Uh, me too. That's why I asked. <laughs> well, I think that was great, right, Stadler? St Stadler! You fell. No, my upper plate fell. I jumped after it. <laughs> well, every week this show looks better to me. Every week your eyesight gets worse. <laughs> that song had a nice beat. No, no, I don't want to eat. I said beat, beat, you old fool. Why don't you turn up your hearing aid? There's going to be a raid. Well, let's get out of here. I give up. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I remember Ethel Merman in the opening of Panama Hattie. You're old enough to remember Teddy Roosevelt in the opening of the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why I'm so itchy. Maybe the show is starting to get under your skin. Oh, genius! Genius! Arthur! Arthur! A work of art! Brilliant! Oh, what, what was that about? That was about a uh, minute and a half. <laughs> Okay. Bravo! Bravo! What are you bravoing about? That performance. It was first rate. Yes, it was good. But only one act I've ever seen deserved a bravo. Oh, really? Who was that? Lady Beth McIntosh and her singing parakeets. <laughs> I'll never forget her closing night at the palace. What happened? Well, she fell into a box of bird seed just before going on stage, and she was pecked to death by the parakeets. <laughs> it's a hard act to follow. Yeah, well, I was there and I cried. Really? What did you cry? Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> that was a funny show. Yes, it was. I wonder if they meant it that way. <laughs> hey, what a beautiful performer. Yeah, what a beautiful woman. You know, Waldorf, hmm. I think I'll go backstage and meet her. Why, you old fool, she wouldn't have anything to do with you. 
Besides, I was thinking of going backstage. You? You, why, you're old enough to be her grandfather. Hey, you geriatric joker. We'll settle this. We'll flip for her. Okay. One, two, three. Hey. Oh. You win. Just think, that old fool Statler is getting a chance to meet Miss Harper backstage just because he could do a flip. But I bet he can't do this. <laughs> hey, sometimes I tickle myself. In fact, I think I'll tickle myself now. <laughs> I was practicing my flip. Help! <laughs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy it tonight. You plan to like this show? No, I plan to watch television. What is it? It's a curtain. Stand by for makeup. Stand by for what? Hey.